Pat's still having a breakfast, so she don't want me to film her. <laughs> um, now, uh, where do you start? Terrible thing happened yesterday. Um, I, I nearly got scammed. Um, oh, it's plumbing neck. I come. I'll tell you what happened. I'm on Facebook, but I don't really use Facebook much. I used to do, but it it didn't work for me, so I stopped using it really. Huh? But I'm registered on Messenger, and I've got I've not got many friends on on Facebook, but one of my friends messaged me on Messenger. Um, last night, who sent me a message? You know, I Trevor and Pat, how are you? How are things? And I, um, I replied to her and said that we're fine. You know, and how are you? And this this sort of uh, informal conversation went on, went between us for a bit, and then I got um, and uh, mind you, a, a picture picture of this friend is there and uh you know I, I even clicked on the profile and it took me to it took me to her profile on facebook um because she started talking about things that were unusual and she mentioned some organization that gave grants to people i mean I can understand why uh, they'd they'd receive grants because they uh, her and her husband run a company and were involved in charity work a lot. So I could understand why they'd be interested in getting these grants. But for me, she was recommending me to apply for these grants, and um, I thought I I kept saying to her, "Well, it don't really apply to me." Because I, I don't, I'm not involved in charity work or anything like that. Um, but the, she sent me this link to this agent that she used to get these grants. And I said to her, I can't, I can't communicate with her because she's not a friend of mine on, on Facebook. So, um, so she messaged this friend. To come to ask me to become a friend, so I I I agree to have this friend, and and then this friend sent me a message, um, saying what grants would I be interested in, and I I, I said to this lady, I, I I think my friend's got a bit mixed up with all this because I'm not I'm not interested i don't know what the grants are about or anything it's nothing to do with me in these grants so i don't know why she wants me to contact you so this this i get i get a reply from her saying that she, my name's registered on her on their database and i've won a grant and click on this link to apply for my grant and i thought are somewhat strange here. So I went back to my friend and what I did was I emailed her and I, and I went back on Messenger and said I've emailed I've, I've sent you an email can you reply to that email because I don't believe you are my friend who you say you are. This person just said no Um. And I said, well, you email me back on uh, reply to my email that I've sent you. And so she, she said, OK. And that's that's the last I've heard. So I then rang, telephoned the business that this friend of mine and her husband run. And they'd gone, they'd gone home. But the, the, the person who was there said they, didn't, they couldn't give me 
their private telephone number. It won't write. Um, but he'd passed the message on and I, I told them that what had happened. Anyway, about 10 minutes later, I got a telephone call from, was it their granddaughter? granddaughter yeah. Their granddaughter, who said that um, their Facebook page had been hacked and that a few people had been in touch with her to tell her. Um, so do, do not have anything to do with it. So <clears throat> I've deleted um, these people and um, I've actually deleted my messenger app. I'm not, if they can do that so easily, poor, I'm not having anything more to do with messenger. Um, and I just thought I'd tell you about this. Uh, just warn you to be careful because it just looked like my friend what? it really what fooled me i thought i was talking to her and i wasn't i think it were a bit strange yeah to, she, what, what they were saying because i kept saying to pat do you think do you think she's got a bit of well, she'll be getting on you'll be a bit younger than me but in her early 70s do you think she's got a bit of alzheimer's or something you, you don't think Things like that can happen. Really dodgy stuff. Another thing I wanted to bring up was over this over this trip, this last three weeks, I've discovered lots and lots of sites that are no longer open in the winter. Be it caravan and caravan and caravan and motorhome CLs or camping and caravan CSs. Lots of them are closed for the winter. Never come across so many before. And I think it's because of the electricity situation. Um, so I've, I've actually booked today, we're leaving Driffield today uh, for the weekend because we're going back to Tracy's on Monday um, and I booked on a site on the outskirts of York and I think this site is, is going to cost me I think it's going to be expensive the only one I could find that was open I did ring one where I've been to before but it's, she said it's too wet because it were grass it were all grass but it's usually very hard mm -hmm. and you can park on it but not not at the moment it's too wet so this one was the only site I could get on in in the surrounding area on the way back to our traces, and I I I went I went on lots of sites. And that were a cancellation. Isn't and it? the only reason I've got on that, yeah, because she had a cancellation, yeah. So changes, negative changes, Maybe a foot. Um, that that are occurring. Um, in this camping carry on motor roaming, um, yeah. All right, folks. Um, I'll I, I'll film, make a little film of this little area we're in here. Uh, I've got to go. I've got to go into um into town. I've got to walk into town and get some a bit more cash. Um. For, to, uh, I don't think I've got quite enough cash to cover uh, this site. Um, I don't know whether it's going to be 25 or over a night. Okay, folks, we'll see you later. Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs> this is behind. This is where we've been parked, folks, tonight. Lots of little boats moored up up here now. Yeah, it's on this road not far from the railway station. Yeah. I'm going into town to get some cash. That's where we are, that. Where are this is an ambulance that someone's going to do up into a camper, I believe. It's 
been all of, well, there the last time we were here. And the ch an old gentleman that we spoke to told us about it. I don't think he's got any further with it. Right, folks. Here we are. You can hear traffic noise because we're near it's A64, I think. Um, this this site is called Chowdean. It's a caravan and motorhome club CL. It's 25 quid a night with hookup. That's what they are getting now. This this is the only one I could find them. Um, it's a five van site. You have fresh water, there's showers and stuff here. Um, so you've got some facilities that we don't use anyway, but there they are. And there's the Elson there. Um, and, and the hookup is just at the side of us there. Um, Chowdean. And you turn in off at, I don't know if, I don't know if I were on A64. We're, we're not, we're just round the corner from the park and ride. The lady says, just walk out of the gate, the entrance here, turn left, turn left again and you're at the park and ride so you can get the bus into York, the park and ride bus into York. Um, which, you know, is a good thing, but I'm, um, this is our last stop on the way back. We're out, of, we're out of brass now, we've no money left um, for doing out. So I'm not going to York um, to get tormented. So we're, we're, we're just here for Saturday and Sunday and then back to Tracy's on Monday. Um, yeah, this is the way in. There's barriers and gates and... Oh, what you carry on. Yeah. I don't know what's going to happen in the future with with the chat with the costs and everything. Now, I mean, we have we have gone off grid quite a few times on the trip. You know, so you can't can't have it can't can't have it all us. I can't I can't wild camp every night. I mean, the toilet cassette was absolutely full. Um, yeah, there's the main road there. Um, it's behind this place, JG Windows. Um, ah. I think we, all we can do is do what we've been doing and wild camp interspersed with sites and wild camping. Once the, once we get beyond March, most of the sites will start opening up. And if the weather's all right, I can go on grass and I'll have more, more opportunities. There'll, there'll be more sites available to us. But it's been wicked. This find this last leg here to find a site um, that's not grass all grass um, and and is open all year and I just can't find anywhere um, so when we get back the, the priority is Pat's eye test. She, she's, she needs some new glasses, does Pat. So that's got to happen when we get back. Um, I do not know about the European trip. I don't know whether we can afford to do it, to be honest. Um, we'll, we'll see. I haven't, I haven't written it off altogether, but we'll just have to wait and see. Well, this is where we are, folks. Here on the edge of York, just waiting, waiting it out until Monday when we go back to Tracy's. All right, folks. We'll see you later. Bye, bye.